Hey everyone, it's Manny's Got a Gun, <clears throat> and guess what? I don't have a cold anymore, so this will be a little easier to do, guys. Um, this is the uh, first series Xbox 360, and I'm going to be telling you guys how to set up your XP 500s um, so that they can work with the Xbox 360. Um, first, most most important thing you have to do is buy this little adapter here. This is an adapter for your Xbox 360, PS3, even your uh, your GameCube. Um, so, and your PS2 even as well, um, but as you can see, the reason we bought this adapter for $15 from GameStop is because it has a digital optical, uh, input here. So you have to buy this first if you want to be able to use almost any type of Turtle Beach, uh, headset that uses digital, uh, optical inputs. So first, what you're going to do is, of course, hook up the adapter to the back here. It's right above the HDMI area, and yes, you can, you don't have to use the component off of this adapter you can still hook up your HDMI at the same time so that you can um, use the digital optical cord for the sound and the HDMI at the same time problem is if you turn off your TV your Xbox like does this weird thing where it kinda turns itself off too but it's still on I don't know it's really weird but uh, first you have to put this inside and once you do that you go over here to your RF transmitter and you get the digital optical cable and you put it into the back right here and once that's hooked up you're done with the uh, sound and then what you have to do next is for the power source you have to get the USB cable which is hooked up to the back here um, and a DV input there and you put the USB cable either here in the back in the which I prefer in that little USB slot up here above the Ethernet cable or you can put it up front and when it comes down to, to setting it up for the Xbox 360 that's about it this adapter like I said earlier is $15 at GameStop solely because it um, goes for PS3, PS2, GameCube and all of those adapters and it's a component cable uh, or uh, like the HD but with component cables is weird um, but that's what that does um, and that's going to be 15 bucks for you. But if you go for one that's just for Xbox 360, which has a digital, um, optical digital input, that's going to be like five, ten bucks, I believe. So that's it for setting it up physically. Here, guys. Um, ne next, we're going to have uh, putting, setting up the Bluetooth to your uh, your Xbox 360. And first, what you have to do is get this little adapter here. And you have to uh, hold this button down, and once you do that, um, it'll turn on, and you'll see it start to blink. It'll begin blinking. Um, not right now because the Xbox 360 controller is off, but it'll blink there, and and uh, then it'll be in pairing mode, and it'll also be on. Then for uh, your XP 500, you're going to go to the BT button which is this one right here you're gonna hold that button down to turn it off if your headset's already on and then you're gonna hold it down again to turn on the headset uh, or to turn on the bluetooth and then you're gonna continue holding on to it to turn on turn on or to uh, put it in pairing mode and once it's in pairing mode it'll automatically find this adapter here and uh, it'll connect and that's all you have to do for chat if you had px5s you wouldn't have this adapter unless you bought it off um, trollbeach.com for about 30, 30 to 20 dollars I don't remember and uh, you would use a chat cable from the bottom of the headset to um, your controller so this is this is technically the same way you would set up the PX5 so uh, thanks for watching guys please leave a sub um, comment if you have any questions you know I'll be happy to answer them and leave a rate, please. It really goes a long way, guys. Thank you very much for watching. It's Manny's Got a Gun. Peace.